Happy Friday, Lexington. Welcome back to another edition of Happy to Be with LFCHD. I'm your host, Christina King. Tune in weekly as we share with you tips, tricks, and all around good ideas on how to keep you and your kiddos not only healthy at home, but happy at home as well. If you missed last week's episode, you can find it on our Facebook page at LFCHD or on our website at www.lfchd.org. This week, we are happy to be talking fitness with our own Kevin Hall and Ruben Perez. These gentlemen have some great ideas on how we can incorporate fitness into our day-to-day lives while still social distancing. So I'm gonna turn it over to them now. Kevin, you're first. I'm Kevin Hall with the Lexington Bay County Health Department. And when you are isolating at home and staying in because of COVID-19, sometimes you want to work out. And my little training buddy here is going to show you some ways that we work around the house lifting a little 23-pound weight. Shoulder exercises. Walking. 10,000 little steps, or big steps, whatever works for you. you do curls. Push ups. So maybe the baby workout isn't for everyone. So we're going to turn it over to Ruben Perez to give a little bit better idea of how you can work out around your house using some things that you can find every day. Ruben, over to you. My name is Ruben Perez, and I am the Worksite Wellness Coordinator for the Lexington Fayette County Health Department. Today, we are going to be talking how to introduce physical activity or exercise into games that we already have at home. The physical activity guidelines for kids ages 5 to 17 specify that kids should get at least 60 minutes a day of physical activity. Because of closings and restrictions due to the COVID-19 pandemic or bad weather, sometimes kids don't get to go out and get their physical activity. Some kids will get really turned off if you just tell them, let's stay home and do some exercise. But if you ask them if they would like to play a game, they might be more willing to participate. So there's a chance to use the strategy of incorporating physical activity into games. Some games by design already have components of physical activity in them. For example, the game of Twister. Twister is a game where participants will hold different types of poses until he or she loses balance. Twister already has the components of flexibility, strength, muscle endurance, balance, and coordination. Current versions of Twister also have new added symbols that give you the opportunity to include other exercise movements. For example, the spinner's choice. If the spinner lands on the spinner's choice, you could tell all the players that they're going to do 10 push-ups, 20 sit-ups, 15 jumping jacks, running place for 30 seconds. You could get as creative as you want. For other games, we might have to use the game's own rules to incorporate some physical activity. For example, let's talk about the game of Mono. Before we start the game, we could tell the players that every time anybody lands on the free parking or goes to jail, they are going to have to do an exercise movement that is going to be predetermined. Lastly, if you have kids that are very active or sport driven, sometimes a deck of art is all it takes. You could assign exercises to each suit and let, you could say, let's play exercise blackjack. After each hand, the winner doesn't have to do the movements, but the losers who have to do the movement for each card and amount that they have. So there you go. Just start thinking how you can incorporate 
exercise or physical activity in the games that you have at home. At the beginning, it might take some work, but it could be a great option for when kids have to stay home. Back to you, Christina. Wow, Kevin and Ruben, those were some really great ideas. And Kevin, I'm not sure who had more fun with that, you or the baby. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in, Lexington. See you next week. Mm-hmm.